I hope I don't spook any of you too much. Um, so ever since I was a kid, I was fascinated by bugs. I would go bug hunting and collect them in jars. I would study them under the microscope. Sometimes I would draw them and feed them, often to each other. <laughs> now, these days I go, I take my kids on field trips, and whenever we go on field trips, I make them memorize the three, bug, three common sense bug hunting rules. And these days I can wake them up, and, well, not the days, it's night, I can wake them up and ask them to recite the three rules. So, it turns out that there's a lot we can learn from these rules that affect how you debug uh, live systems in production. So even if you don't, unless you're actually a, a software developer and an entomologist, I hope I might be able to teach you something. So the first rule that I teach my kids is when you're lifting rocks, never stick your fingers underneath. Because you never know what lurks there, what might bite you, might sting you. There are some very dangerous things. I come from Israel, it's a desert country. Uh, venomous things, poisonous things. So you should really consider using protective gear, maybe gloves or closed shoes. And in general, it's a good idea to actually not try to touch a live system. So. Um, try using simulations, for example. And because sometimes when you do make a fix, your fix might create even bigger problems than you want, the ones you're actually trying to fix. So try to understand and have some kind of passive logging. Inspect the environment. Look for footprints, slither marks, and understand the environment where your system is running. And if you do have to do this, you have to prepare for that. So that means have some kind of extendable uh, uh, runtime configurable logging, logging system. Give your system diagnostic capability. And if you actually do want to push uh, flip over the rock, always touch it from the visible side. Now, the second rule is to never lift the rock toward yourself or others. Because you never know what's going to jump out at you. And look around. See who might be affected by your changes. So it could be people. It could be other devices, sometimes remote devices, users. Try to prepare for these eventualities. Try to make simulations and in a controlled environment. My time? Is my time? Okay. Now, rule number three. Always return the rock to the original position. Because, you know, bugs are people too, right? <laughs> and uh, we came, we disturbed their home, and we got to leave them alone when we're done. And I think, of course, we, uh, these bugs, when we want to find them and study them, uh, we want to leave them alone. But the bugs we do fix, we want to at least clean up our, after ourselves. So we got to leave the code in a better condition, leave the system in a better condition than it was before. So that means add or update unit tests, update your, uh, your documentation, and of course, refactor your code so that it's future-proof. And so going over the, these three rules, don't forget, never stick your fingers underneath the rock, never flip rocks towards yourself and others, and always return the rock to its original position. So go teach that to your kids. Teach it to your colleagues. Thank you. <laughs>